dot against BTC. Uh, for dot against BTC, yes, sir. Uh, we have two targets. One is at where is this? Four eight eight zero. Um, the next one would probably be at four 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 zero zero point triple zero triple four zero. So more downside is to be expected for dot against BTC. How much more? Yeah, here we still have a target over here. Uh, these were targets that we acquired. Doo -doo, since the 21st of January, 2022. Now it's already the 4th, is it? 4th of February, yes sir, 2022. Still more downside to come. I, I suspect that um, DOT could do, could do something like that. A, B, we come down for a C, we go for a D, E, and then we blast off. Sayonara, bitches. And then after that, uh, Polkadot goes para. Best case scenario, but, but at the same time, uh, Polkadot could also be uh, printing mountain ranges. And this could be a descending triangle. We could head even lower for Polkadot. So it depends upon the wheels uh, of Polkadot on what their um, goal is. What is it that they want to achieve? Uh, whether it's going to be a very nice reversal or whether it's going to be more downside. We are not too sure ourselves. right? If we had to count the waves down, this would be an A, B. We're coming down for a C. So I suspect, I still suspect that there is more downside to come for DOT against BTC. DOT against USDT, um, yeah, still not looking good. Um, no clear signs of a proper tradable chart pattern, I would say. Um, yeah, if you do pop a little bit lower, whew, this will be bad. Uh, this could be the completion of a hit. We could rise back up. We could get a right shoulder. Oh boy, Polkadot could be popping even lower back towards potentially where the noisy area is, which is $5. So the risk is still there. That Polkadot could still drop down to $5. From $18 to $5, that's brutal, right? 53 to 18 is really brutal. 18 to 5 is even brutal, more brutal. So again, um, we are not really sure exactly. We're not sure exactly what uh, the whales of Polkadot are trying to do, uh, but yeah, it's not really looking that good so far. I mean, if, if we just start rallying from here, then great, you know, there's a chance that we could uh, consolidate and go higher. But as it stands at this point of time, I just don't see it yet. So yeah, the trend is still largely bearish. This is just uh, one, two. Yeah, there are three waves. It's an ABC, very likely uh, there are three waves down. So I don't feel like wave three is done yet. I think there's still a little bit more downside to go for wave three. Uh, okay, this is not how you do it. This is just not how you do it. Um, but uh, the one-to-one -one extension would bring us to $13.91. So potentially more downside to come for DOT against USDT. I just don't think the Polkadot wheels are done uh, pulling the price lower yet. Uh, again, if, if we do rally, and if this is a weak rally, yeah, expect more downside as well. So I, I, I just feel like there's more downside to come for Polkadot against USDT. This is not looking like a bullish reversal, not yet. If it were to be, then we would uh, know, but at this point of time, not yet. So, excuse me, be careful, be very careful. We're going to a trade too soon for Polkadot.